In this visual tutorial, I'm going to do integration by substitution or u substitution. In this case, I'm going to use a trigonomic function, cosine. And here is the final answer. Either that's beautiful or ugly to you, depending on your perspective. Notice there's a relationship between x squared and x cubed plus 1. If I take the derivative of x cubed plus 1, it's almost x squared. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of 1 is 0. And for what we're trying to do, x squared and 3x squared are close enough. Now let me show you how to do u substitution. I'm going to let u equal to x cubed plus 1. If I take the derivative of this, it's equal to 3x squared, because the derivative of 1 is nothing, so it's 3x squared dx. I want to solve for dx because I'm going to put the solution to dx right there. So I do this by multiplying both sides of the equation by 1 divided by 3x squared. On the right hand side, these 3x squareds cancel out. And I'm left on the left hand side with du divided by 3x squared is equal to dx. So I can replace x cubed plus 1 with u. And I'll replace dx with du over 3x squared. Notice the x squareds cancel. Now I have the integral of cosine u. du divided by 3. I'm going to pull that 3 out by just multiplying the whole integral by 1 third like this. Now I have 1 third times the integral of cosine u du. This is equal to 1 third times the integral of cosine u, which is sine u, plus some constant. Now I have 1 third, and I'll replace the u with x cubed plus 1, like this, plus c, and that's my answer. You should always check your answer of an integration by taking the derivative of it. So I'll take the derivative of this right here. So now I just pull down the one third. I use the chain rule. So I take the derivative of the whole thing and then I take the derivative of the inside. The derivative of sine x cubed plus one is cosine x cubed plus one. The derivative of the inside is three x squared. The derivative of 1 is nothing, it's 0, and the derivative of a constant is also nothing. The 3's cancel out. I'll just put the x squared in front, so I have x squared times cosine times x cubed plus 1, which is my original problem. So it looks like I got it right. Again, here is the solution all worked out nice and beautiful or ugly, depending on how you look at it or think about it. Remember to share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Links to other videos on use substitution below. Subscribe and like it because it's tasty. Like my videos. They're tasty.